but welcome back to the Every Closet. My name is Stephanie, and along with my partner Ethan, we are two full-time resellers on places like Poshmark and eBay. So let's get right into today's video. We are doing a what sold video for the first week of June, and shockingly, it is just ending the first week of June. It's June 8th today, so I am going to just go over everything that's sold so far. And there's 30 days in June, right? So a few of those weeks will have to have eight days. We'll we're only a bit way through the day, but we'll just do whatever sold up to this point. And it's almost exactly the first quarter of June. So awesome. Let's get into it. I don't want to waste anyone's time. We are just doing the Poshmark sales. And I'm going to skip over anything that's just absolutely the most boring, useless information that you could have. But there aren't that many sales. So we're going to have to see about all that. First sale on Poshmark Canada was an Athleta black cow neck pullover studio sweatshirt with a drawstring hoodie in a size large. We picked this up at the bins. Finally, we're getting into listing the things that we got at the bins. We are really behind. I understand that. I don't want to hear about it. We got this at the bins. So it was $2.15 when you averaged out all the cost of goods of all that stuff. And it sold for $23. So $23 with a shipping discount. Wah, wah. So we made $14.49. So minus $2. So this is over the $12.30 whatever cent profit. Okay, not bad. Not amazing. Not bad. I only listed it at like $29 and then clearly sent an offer to Liker. So that is how that happened. And not bad for our first bins item. I'm pretty pleased with that. Next was a pair of IRO jeans in a blue skinny crop NOA jeans. Maybe that's the style number or maybe I put a typo. We will never know. In a size 27, these sold for $48 and that gave us $37.92. We got these quite a while ago. I believe last July actually because I think we got them in the Okanagan. So they were $15, and so that gives us a $22 profit. Um, Less than I thought, actually. When I found IRO jeans, I was like, these are going to sell for more than $100. And that's probably why we had them so long, because no, they're not. And the comps aren't there for that. IRO dresses, IRO blazers, heck yes. I can verify those sell for well over $100. IRO jeans, mm, not so much. Uh, next was a pair of chunky platform sandals, brown ankle strap Y2K. We've had these for so long, even though they've been trendy for a while now, possibly because they were six and a half. Um, they sold for $12 with a shipping discount. So we made $4.17. I said I was going to skip over boring sales, but I didn't, did I? Um, this is something to learn from because we had these for a very long time and then they only sold for that much. I might have sourced these at a thrift store due to style, but I'm glad I didn't. We got these in a $10 bag, so I'm happy. Um, honestly, if we got them at a thrift store, I'd probably still be holding on to them, wondering why they weren't selling for $25. So careful when you're paying up for Y2K type things. Sometimes, like, there there are a lot of platforms out there now, and you can't just go and pick up all the platforms in your thrift store. Um, if I did that, I would have 50 or so shoes per thrift visit to take home with me and list. So you can't do that. Um, hopefully I wouldn't have picked these up because they're just a nothing brand. And they also were really hard to walk in. I'm a six and a half, seven. I tried them on once. So difficult. Why does anyone... Good luck to the person who bought those in walking, but I'm just not, I'm not regular and I don't wear heels. Next, another bins item was a Burton orange and yellow mountain graphic asymmetrical <laughs> crop top in a size large. So this Burton t-shirt, it was a t full size t-shirt, um, had a stain near the bottom. And I was like, screw that. And so I turned it into a crop top myself with scissors cut completely crooked. And then I was like, should I try and make that even and potentially end up with too short of a crop top? Or should I list it as a diagonally cut crop top? So that is what I did. It sold within a few days. Don't ask me. And it sold for $15. So we made $10.85 off of that, which I was really happy with because that was one of the items from the bins that once we got it home and saw there was a stain, I was like, oh no, we shouldn't have grabbed this, but it sold anyway. 
and we made about an $8 profit, which I am fine with for something that turned out to be stained. Um, next was a bundle of two items. It was a bundle of a Lululemon Reveal black perforated long sleeve shirt and a Gentle Fawn navy blue floral camisole. These were thankfully from the same consignment client, so that makes it really easy to divvy up who gets what. Um, and it sold for $48 for this bundle. No shipping discount. Hey! So we made $37.92 and we're splitting that evenly with the consignment client who gave us both of those items. Next was a fantastic consignment item. I'm always so happy to see these. It was a pair of Levi's Wedgie straight raw hem crop jeans in a size 27. Levi's Wedgie is a fantastic Levi's style to look out for if you're thrifting. They sold for $57 and that gave us $45.03. And um, I have never found Levi's Wedgies out in the wild actually, but these were consignment items. So thank you to a, one of our amazing consignment clients as usual. Next, and I'm so happy these sold, was a pair of John Fluvog tan Susanna ankle strap open toe sandals wedge circle heel. Just throwing keywords at it. In a size 7. Um, these came to us from one of our consignment clients who hasn't had that many sales yet. So I'm really excited that these sold. Uh, I'm excited to tell her about it. And so this sold for $102, uh, giving us $76.62 that we will be splitting with her. So that was a fantastic deal for all of us involved. Next was a Tallulah black off the shoulder crop top. I'm mentioning this because we got it in a $10 bag. I did list it. I was this close. I was going to do it this month, taking this off of our closet. It took a very long time to sell, but it did just sell. I think I had taken it down to take off the closet, and then it sold, so we shipped it. <laughs> it was it was that close to being done with this thing. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Tallulah is the lowest tier Aritzia brand. I never pick it up at the thrift. But we got this in a $10 bag. I was really pleased with that because we made $11.85 from that from, I don't know, one. So that was fantastic. And moving on. Those were all the sales that I just told, I didn't skip any. I just told you about every single sale that occurred between June 1st and June 6th or 7th. Okay, I have to see my closet inside. June 6th. Between June 1st and June 6th, those were all of the sales. There were two no sales days in there and one where we sold $15. So I was, by June 7th, freaking out. <laughs> And so what I did is I went and I used the My Shoppers feature. I just talked about this feature in our five useful Poshmark features video. So Ethan, if you could link that up here, that would be fantastic. But what I did is I went to My Shoppers and I picked out, so I, like obviously we have a lot of items in our closet. Our closet's been around for a long time. A lot of people have liked things in our closet. I did not click every single person. I believe I clicked people who had liked things in the last five days and then people who liked things between like April 1st and 10th. I did it that way so I would remember if I wanted, ended up wanting to send a message to more people. I did not because it spurred a ton of sales. It was so bad. The, it was like June 1st, we did $106. June 2nd, 15. No sales on the 3rd. No sales on the 4th. $48 on the 5th and $83 on the 6th. So I was straight up freaking out at this point. I was like, these are not the numbers that our closet hits. This is like, I was like, the algorithm is screwed. Everyone was right. Um, our closet's doomed. We need to quit and do something else. So before you do that, go try and get some sales moving in your closet. So I sent out a message to about 250, 300 likers saying, I'm having a sale, I am accepting all offers that don't lose me money. And so I sent that, that message out and we made that day $837 in sales <laughs> just from me sending out that message. And then also, a, a, few of the, a few of the things sold weren't from the people that we sent that was message to because I've, I've always found this and I now 100% believe it to be true. Sales lead to more sales. Getting sales pushes your stuff higher in the algorithm. I don't know why exactly. Maybe Poshmark's thinking, oh, they're doing something right. They're getting sales. Push more people their way because that's where the sales are going. I 
I don't know this for sure. Like, obviously, I don't know how the algorithm works, but we have been selling for a year and a half now. And I will tell you that that has never not been true. When we have good sales days, we have great sales days. And when we have crappy sales days, they drag on like all day, can't get anything to happen, you know? So my advice to you, if your sales are slow right now, would be to go try this, go send people a message saying like, hey, I'm being, I'm accepting all offers. You can do it in whatever way. Like I, I was going to send a few variations, like tell some people you're having 50% off, tell some people everything under $20 is five for $20, whatever. Just something that's like, hey, seriously, send me an offer and I'll accept it. Um, and that's what I did. We made some sales, obviously, that were a little lower than I would have wanted to sell these items for, but it got things moving and I'm so happy I did it. So yes, I would highly recommend it. And now let's go over what those sales were. So the first sale that day was a forever new new Tags Serena single breasted trench coat in luxe blonde. This was a new Tags trench coat. Um, the tag said something like $150. I accepted this person's offer, which I actually thought was pretty reasonable considering the message they got for $40. So we made $31 and 60 cents. Um, that was a consignment item. So we will be splitting that with one of our consignment clients. Moving along, next was a Wilfred silk and cashmere Gallois, Gallois, uh, that's the style name. V-neck cream sweater in a size medium. This sold for $25, um, giving us $15.79. Honestly, I probably paid at least $10 for this at a thrift store, so not much profit there, but it did get things moving. It got the ball rolling, and I'm not mad at it, not at all. Um, next was a Misty Mountain Black trench coat in a plus size so this was in a size 3x it's like a big like rain trench coat like down to your knees or whatever this sold for $15 so $15 I paid $5 for this at a little thrift store and our earnings from those $15 were seven so we made like a $2 profit there fine by me <laughs> we've had that for a very long time and like I said like if if you're feeling drastic and you really want to get your sales going, businesses have to take losses. That's just that's just part of running a business. Sometimes you take losses. Sometimes you take scant profits. You don't model your business based off those times, but it happens. And the sooner you accept that, the more willing to let go of things you are, the more sales you might get down the line. So the next sale was a bundle of J. Crew chambray wide leg pants in a size 12 and a new tags Nanavati white not front crop top. Uh, this sold for $37 and so we made $25.55. One of those was donated to us from m my members of my family and the other one was consignment. So we'll be splitting that. However, using math, Ethan's going to do it. Next was a pretty big bundle, and they got a very good deal on this bundle, but I digress. That's, I told her to try me, and she did, and I'm just happy we had sales. So, we had a new tag Simone black and white color block dress in the size 8, a Rebecca Taylor soft gray terry pleated layered long sleeve sweater, a Lululemon Satva black hooded crop, I don't know. A jacket, a Roots olive green v-neck with chest pocket, a revamped off-white frilly crop top, a new tags pepper and zoe silver icing black jumpsuit, a boss who go boss black faux wrap long sleeve dress, a Adidas mint green mesh layered crop top in a size medium, and then a Wilfred Aritzia cobalt blue bleated, pleated pleated tank top in a size small. This entire bundle sold for less than you think, $162. So we made $127.98 after posh fees. Um, and a shipping discount? No, no shipping discount. So yeah, I believe we went a little bit back and forth, tried, tried 100. And I was like, absolutely not. Because it was priced, I think the original price of this bundle was like $460. And I was like, just not happening. Um, and so I countered 162 
And she countered again. And I was like, I really, I can't. I'm not doing that. And so then they came to my price and they were like, I was like, sorry, I just, like, I know I said try me, but, and they were like, no, this is still a great discount. Thank you so much. So got a bunch of things out of our closet, got some money back for us and moving on with all of our lives. Hopefully she likes those when she gets them. Next was an M&S collection flax linen mustard yellow wide leg crop trousers in buttercup yellow. These were in an EU size 34. They sold for $14. They came from a $10 bag and we made $9.85. Next was a naked zebra gray and black sheer lace cutout racer back tank top in a size medium. This sold for $10, giving us $5.85, and it was a consignment item, so we'll be splitting that with our consignment client. Next, and this is what happens if you send people this message, was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under High Rise Crop in Night Garden Ice Gray Black Floral in a size 4. These were a 2018 Lululemon item, but no one wanted them for a very long time. So this person sent me an offer for $28. They were listed at $58 or something. And I accepted, giving us $22.12. We probably, again, made about a $2 profit on there. But our sales are back to life, and that is priceless to me. <laughs> Next was a torrid burnt orange three-quarter sleeve v-neck blouse in a size 1, so 1x. Sold for $18. Um, that I got at Value Village for about 5 so reasonable. Next was something we've had forever, and I don't understand why it took so long for these to sell. But it was an Anthro Hemant and Nandita rhinestone black joggers in a size large. These sold for $40, uh, giving us $31.60. And uh, two more things from that day. One was a very large bundle. I did not want to go over all the items in this bundle. A lot of them were from $10 bags. Some of them were from consignment. I'm just going to go over the main items. Basically, this bundle sold for $300 giving us $233.32. It was 27 pieces. The pieces I want to tell you about are the new Tags Lululemon Black Pace Rival Crop Leggings in a size 10, the Rebecca Taylor Black and White Tweed Blazer in a size 0. That's not the same. And <laughs> let's see. Actually, it was just mainly those two items. And then we had a new Tags Chaser Rosebud Beaded Star Print halter top but we only paid about seven dollars for that i'm guessing the rebecca taylor blazer we would have paid about 20 the new tags lululemon i'm sure we paid at least 25 if not 30 to 35 um and then everything else in this bundle we did not source so various sources that were free to us very cheap ten dollar bags things like that um one or two little consignment pieces. And so this whole thing sold for $300. Um, it was, it was a pretty good bundle. I was happy to see all that move. I was happy it contributed to our good sales day and moving on from there. And then the last thing that sold this day and this person didn't receive that message was an Air Jordan black crew neck pullover sweater in a size large. This sold for $30, giving us $23.70. We got this at the bins. So I guess. That gives us our $21 profit, which I'm very happy about. That is the goal for all the bins things. But as you've seen, we've been accepting lower than that. And yeah, so that was the first to the seventh. Then let's go over the few sales we had from today. One was a little bundle of a bunch of things that I didn't want in my closet anymore. And then a pair of boots that I wanted to charge for. So it was a pair of Brown's red studded leather knee-high knee boots in a size EU37. And then a McKinley Aquamax 2.3 waterproof rain jacket in a size medium. A running room t-shirt, a seductions t-shirt, a Sandra brand abstract t-shirt, and then like a Christmas Santa reindeer vest. This whole bundle sold for $55, giving us $39.77. And I'm basically considering most of that value the Browns boots, which were consignment. So we'll be splitting that with her. Just happy to see the rest of those items move, honestly. And then we also got sale for $20 of a Urban Outfitters popover yellow plaid hooded flannel. 
In a size extra small, this sold for $20, giving us $15.80. And then the last sale during this period was Nua Tegs La Vion Rose Red Pajama Pants with Pockets in a size large. They sold for $15. We got these forever ago. I believe we got them at the Value Village 50% off sale um, last February. So that's like the first video on our channel. And uh, I they must have been like 5 bucks or something like that. but. We, they sold for 15 so we made $10.85, maybe a $6 profit. I would obviously not pick those up again. I don't pick up Livion Rose at all anymore. And that is also what I recommend you do, is not pick up Livion Rose. It does not have good resale value. And I know that now. And these sold, and I'm happy to have them out of my life. So, during that time, let's see. Can we go back to Closet Insight? I'm just going to add all that up. One sec. Math, 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 math. So that makes it on the week of Canada $866.92 in our earnings. Now, that doesn't include cost of goods, but oh my gosh, oh, over 600 of that was just on the 7th, the day I sent out that message. So very happy I did that. And sales have been picked up like back almost to normal. Not as quick as yesterday, but like where they should be since then. So I'm very happy about that. And we're moving on. So let's move on to the main sales from the US closet this week. Now, I didn't send out any message on the US closet. Um, it worked well enough on Canada that I didn't feel like I had to. So these are all just be regular sales, people sending us regular offers. The first sale in the U.S. closet was a Z Supply Reverie Black Slub Midi Oversized Dress for every occasion. This is a size small. It's for $20, giving us 16 U.S. dollars, and we're splitting that with our consignment client. Next was an Adidas Women's Essentials French Terry Black Joggers with a blue logo and a size extra large. These sold for $31. Wow, they're still in transit. That's surprising for the US closet. They sold for $31, which was fantastic because we got these at the bins, so $2.15. And they gave us $24.80 US dollars. So that's amazing. 24 ish dollar profit there. Next, a little preppy bundle of a Brooks Brothers light blue cardigan, new tags, and a size medium. And a new tags Lauren Ralph Lauren black skirt and a size eight. These sold together for let me see sixty five dollars, giving us fifty two dollars. And these came from the same consignment client, so that's great. We can just split those fifty two American dollars down the middle with her. Okay, next is a Lululemon heated up bra with a front cross triangle beach blanket blue in a size two. This sold for thirteen dollars. That gives us ten U S dollars, which is amazing and fantastic because we got those from a $10 bag. Uh, the ones I called our best $10 bags ever, which is just the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Yes, it is. Next was a bundle of a two Brooks Brothers dresses, a Reitman's v-neck green dress, and a black wool pencil skirt, um, all in a size 10, large or extra large. This bundle sold for $105 giving us 84 US dollars. And all of those items, again, were from that same consignment client. So we'll just be splitting that right down the middle with her. Next was a guest black Jessica floral embroidered mini dress with a mesh lace overlay. Um, this was fantastic. It was in a guest size medium. And it sold for $44, which gave us 35.20 US. And we'll be splitting that with our consignment client. This person said, Thank you. This is my best Poshmark purchase yet. I will definitely ship here again. Thanks so much. Which I thought was cute. So it was just, I just noticed that now. Um, next was a pair of Guess Men's Blue Straight Leg Distress Gradient Wash Denim Jeans and a Waist 33. These sold for $20, giving us $16 US dollars, and we'll split that with our consignment client. Um, skip those. They're very boring. Next was a Blue Lemon Bomber Round Jacket. An eternal white wave in a size six. We picked this up at a consignment store for fifteen dollars. Um, it sold for thirty, so that gave us twenty-four U.S. dollars, maybe like thirty, actually, maybe thirty Canadian. So, uh, okay, profit. Um, definitely something I was willing to accept and move on from. Next was a guest black and gold leather quilted carryall chain shoulder strap bag. 
This was a pretty substantial guest purse and in good condition. It sold for $30, giving us $24 US dollars. And we're splitting that with the consignment client who always gives us guests. Next is a McQueen Alexander McQueen high neck ruffle mini satin blue dress from the fall of 2014. I guess I found it. This sold for $120, giving us 96 US dollars. And let me quickly do that math. 96 times 1.25 and 120. It just goes back with the with the exchange rate where it is. It just goes exactly back. So that's cool. Um, so that gives us 120 Canadian dollars, and we paid 70 dollars for that. So that gives us a 50 dollar profit, which I'm very happy with. I think it could have sold for more, but as I mentioned, sales were slow, and I'm always accepting offers. Next was a Zara Periwinkle. Okay, fine. It's just more like a light blue, but I called it Periwinkle. Waist-high dress pants in a size extra small. Um, these came to us from a donation or a $10 bag. I put the cost price at zero. And our earnings from, they sold for $15 and we get 12 US dollars from that. So that was fantastic. Next was Naritia Community Cebu Olive Green Cargo Joggers, Nissi size small. They sold for $24 and we picked these up uh, from a value village for, I believe, $7 or six. Um, and our earnings from that is $19.20 US. So apparently that's the same as 24 Canadian dollars. So about a 15, 16, 17 dollar profit. And the last sale was fantastic. Um, hopefully it's accepted. It just sold you like today. So we'll see. We haven't even shipped it yet. It's a Balenciaga rust red asymmetrical skirt. I lost half the title when I did this. Huh. Balenciaga rust red asymmetrical draped mini skirt in a size 38, which is like a small. And this sold for 190 US dollars, which is fair. It's Balenciaga. We got this at a consignment store. I believe we paid $40 for this, which would mean that our 152 US dollar earning, so it should be about $190 Canadian profit. That's fantastic. That's a $150 profit, which is more than I was expecting from this. Honestly, I'd be happy if we sold it for $100. Uh, but Bal Balenciaga. I'm not saying it's not worth that. It is. And we listed it at like $400 because of that. But just, um, yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm excited it sold for that. I don't know. I, d I just don't expect those big of profits most of the time. But it was exciting to see one. So that was our week on Posh US. Let's quickly go over the totals. Na, 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 na. Net earnings. Math o'clock. Okay. So then we did 700 and eighty dollars on the u.s closet um we also had some sales on ebay but as you know if you've been watching for a while we go over those at the end of the month and our monthly recaps so for this week we're just doing those two closets which totals to a total of i thought i could do this in my head what was i thinking aha a weekly total of one thousand six hundred and forty seven dollars in our earnings after posh fees which oh thank god finally a good week and it started off so so bad too. Um, the US closet was actually pretty okay throughout, but the, the Canadian closet until I sent the hi boo. This is my little boo. He's my little boo boo. Mm. Hi boo, say hi to the people. Mm. Are you happy? No, he's not happy. Oh, I'm just really happy to be hitting over 1500. That is that is what I want to be hitting over. I like I want to be hitting over 2000 a week. But we're working our way up to that. Hitting over 1500 a week is definitely, definitely the goal. So I'm really excited to finally have a week where we did that for you. I worked really hard to get these sales. I like begged people for them essentially. So it like, if you support me doing that, I know that we didn't always make the highest profits this week, but we have to keep money flowing through our business, cash flow flowing through our business. We have bills to pay now man we got we got office we got we got storage unit and stay tuned for the next video where i show you our office so otherwise thank you guys so much for watching take care and we'll see you in the next one bye bye Content created. Content created. i can't tell if i turned the mic off this is just gonna be spam
Hey, f you. Okay, bye. You gotta wait to see if it actually is spam. What the hell?